the lack of attention given to gender-based violence, sorcery accusation related violence, and related issues by those responsible for enforcing the laws and policies are the very reason why PNG is still struggling with these issues. This was according to the president of the Catholic Professional Society, Paul Harriknen. The reality is that law, policy, and strategies often are not and cannot be enough in achieving this purpose. We need support. They are to be supported by implementation and enforcement. These two cannot happen without appropriate mechanisms, people and funding, which will also depend on strong will and real desire from those in power and position. A lawyer by profession, Harignan said we still have a long way to go to address gender-based violence. Appropriate education and formation of children and young people can go a long way to help. Harignan also called on civil societies and the media to help in addressing the issue. As civil society, along with the victims and the survivors of GPV, SAF, human trafficking, human rights abuses, must keep on advocating and for media to keep reporting without fear or favor, but with love and honesty. We encourage media to do more with investigative reporting. PNG is still a man-dominated and male-biased country. The 11th parliament has only two women. We all know that. The man-dominated parliament could not even elect a woman of high international standing and credentials for the position of a governor general. Edson Kuso, National MTV News.